Hey guys, welcome back to another Redbeard Outdoors episode. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you how I removed the dinette from our Lakota Bighorn and put in a office space so that I'm able to work full time on the road and I also uh, use this area to edit YouTube videos. So this is our floor plan right here and this is the location of where the dinette was. And in this video, I have gone in and removed the dinette. And here's some pictures of the dinette that was in here before. Overall, I'm just gonna give you a general concept of how I removed the dinette from this specific version of a horse trailer RV. Each dinette will probably be a little bit different than this one, so I'm not gonna go great into the details, but essentially there were a bunch of screws holding it together and that, that's all I really had to undo was the screws and and then there was the mounting brackets for the table that were bolted into the floor and those were just held in with screws also and then they were easily uh, removed and then I went in and cleaned the carpet up did a lot of vacuuming and kind of got the lines out of the carpet All right, just uh, got the dinette removed. Um, this wall is somehow secured to this, and I'm not exactly sure how, but I really don't want to find out because I don't want to ruin anything. So I'll use it as a backdrop for my desk. That's gonna go right there, and somehow mount that to my desk. That way it's not so wobbly, so it'll become sturdier once I get it mounted. So I'm just going to leave that for now. Uh, some of the tools I needed on this specific dinette, uh, it may be different for you, but it's kind of like a, like a star head Phillips. Um, I don't know what you call that, but drill bit and then a big screwdriver with that also came in handy. And then this flexible, uh, I don't even know what you call this, but it spins the bit so you can reach in the hard places So you might need that too. some of the tools I needed to get that undone I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty difficult um, There were a lot of screws, but I got it all cleaned up. I'm gonna vacuum now and uh, Get this all cleaned up and next project's gonna be building the desk that is going to specifically sit right here the desk is going to sit about right here. I might have some overhang just a little bit out here. And then my office chair is going to go right here. Uh, we're also going to have to get some kind of decorative end piece to cover these ends right here. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I'll figure it out. A trip to Home Depot is probably needed. So, um, as you can see, the, the trim right here stopped. Um, I'm just gonna leave that be the desk will cover it up so should be quite the working space once I get done here um, luckily the mounting poles to the dinette table didn't have holes drilled in so it popped right up they were right here can not hardly notice they were there anymore especially probably after I vacuum this will be my new office space for our full-time living in here. And uh, if you haven't noticed, I got Starlink. So I'll have pretty good internet. And I also have a mobile internet source, which I may or may not cancel. I'm not sure yet, but more than likely I'm going to cancel it. It's too much money to uh, run both of those. So. All right, the dinette is in the back of the truck um, and that needs to go into a storage unit. I'll get ready to start on the, the new desk. Let's go. All right, back of the house. Um, house is pretty empty right now. Moving out of it, so. This is the desk in question right here. And I'm going to evaluate a few, th few things on it and see what I, uh, 
what I think. Okay, I broke the desk apart quite a bit. I'm not going to show too much of this work because who knows what kind of desk you're going to use. Uh, it won't be exactly like this and you might even build your own. So it's kind of all irrelevant. So um, I got the top off. That's the most important piece. I'm going to go make a cut on it. All right, just made my cut, sanded this down. It's a pretty nice clean cut there. Also did some preset holes for these little mounting screws. Like I said, you guys won't have this desk situation, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. But yeah, that's what I got going on. I might keep that one and make it like a hinge fold out extended desk with that, but um, we'll see. All right, next I'm gonna cut off this unnecessary backer board piece right here. I'm gonna cut all that off. All right, that piece is cut. Got a little overhang just for beefing it up a little bit and then I kind of sanded it down, gave it a nice round edge. Okay, update for you guys. The desk is about 75% installed. And it's practically almost the same color as the hickory there, so that'll be nice. And then I'll just get an end piece, cover that up. Um, I had to find a bunch of screws, so ignore that pile of screws, but um, I beefed up put two L brackets under here. I put three on this one, three small ones. And then we got two down here, for supporting it to the floor. I'm gonna put two over there and I'm gonna mount uh, the desk and this dinette wall together so it doesn't flop around. So this one's really sturdy, it ain't moving at all. So. I'll put another trim piece there and cover it up. So tons of room right here. I'm really surprised how much room we got right here. Um, it'll definitely fit my office chair with ease. So I'm going to get that finished up. Okay, guys, I bought a ton of desk accessories um, for this and uh, I'm going to get it set up. Um, I will briefly show you everything in here. I'm not going to talk about it too much. I'll put uh, more information on the screen on what the item is and um, go from there. I got to turn the AC back on because it's really hot and I got to cool off because I am sweating like crazy. So.
Okay guys, it's been a few days and I want to give you an update. I uh, worked one week so far on this and um, I got dual monitors and my laptop right here. I added handles to the desk drawers and they snap in uh, with that and that right there. That way they don't pop open when we're driving. And I took that end of the desk and put it on this end with these hinges right here. And these hinges collapse and then this folds up. Um, I needed as much space as possible to put my laptop on so I could fit a laptop and two monitors. So that's what it looks like with the slide out. This is the mount right here. Got it mounted to the desk. I drill the hole, run all the cords through. It's kind of a huge mess right now. I'm going to clean it up soon. And then that's my work computer. And then this is my home computer. And it's going to get mounted down under here. My home computer is going to be mounted down over here. And I'm currently working on that right now. It's going to mount to this strap right here. And then I have all my cords right here. And they go up through that hole that I drilled. And then I also have a little bracket right here for extra support. So. I'm gonna get that installed. All right, guys, I wanna give you a final update here of the desk. Those stick in now so they don't slide open while we're driving. Keep the chair at the perfect height right here for so it doesn't slide. So it kind of sticks in there real nicely. And then I have a lot of extra room. We usually throw a bunch of stuff right here when we hit the road. It's a good storage spot because that whole slide out comes in. And then we need to put stuff in certain places. I made this extra extension to get the laptop and the two monitors on here. And we keep the dog bed under there, which is a great place for them to hang out right there. And let me show you this collapsed. When comes to travel day, we fold that down, bring the slide in. And then when we're set up, we bring it out for more desk space for me while I'm working. If we have people over or whatnot, we can uh, fold that down. It really opens up the space quite a bit, actually. And even when it's out, it doesn't take up a lot of room. So I'm so glad I put that on there. And then this laptop just extends out right here. Got everything bracketed down there. This is where the dinette was. There's no signs that the dinette was there anymore. And yeah, that's it. My new desk here. Here's the uh, trim pieces. I put those Lakota type buttons on there. I got one over there too. Covered up those end pieces real nicely. Yeah, that's it. This is the final product here. My office space. I'm so glad I put this in because I used to work from a dinette. And the couch cushions on that dinette 
were very uncomfortable and it destroyed my back and I have a bad back now. But uh, having this office chair was a must if I was going to live on the road. So I'm really glad I put this thing in and uh, it's totally been a game changer. So I can't be more happy with the outcome of this office space. So I had the blind shut for lighting purposes, but let me go ahead and open that up. It's pretty nice to have different views every so often. And to be able to sit next to a window while you're working right here is, has been great. I really enjoy it. You know, you're working all day. You have something to look at out, outside. Makes you uh, feel like you're getting outdoors a little bit more. So, Alright, that's my full office build and review here. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button. And make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see what I can come up with next. As always... Remember to get outdoors and keep RVing. Catch you guys on the next one.